Okay, let's talk about annual percentage rate. Well, you see this most probably if you have a credit card, right? So you see APR. Many, you know, credit card offers 0% APR, some credit card offers 5% APR, 10% APR, and so on and so on. Or some credit card actually offers 0 percent then after two years they you know increase it dramatically actually they you know there's agreement so you have to read the agreement actually so they say 26 percent fear so while well, we have to be very careful about dealing with those credit card terms and condition otherwise you're going to be you know losing a lot of money so well annual percentage rate we have a formula actually fear is approximately can be calculated by two times number of payments times the rate divided by number of payments plus one. There you go. That is a plus one here. Okay. Plus one. All right. So what is which one means what? So n is number of payment, number of month, monthly payment. And R is the rate, and N is the same thing is number of month, number of M O N T month. Okay, so we just calculate if it is given a year, we must convert into monthly. Then we just substitute, and of course, if year always you convert it to percentage. Well, which is straightforward. If you have a calculator handy, you can use it. So uh, let's take a look here. How can we actually solve the problem? For APR. So they clearly say find the APR rounded to the nearest tenth, okay, of a person for the first of the living room set of that much dollar at 12% adds on interest in three years. Right away, I have my APR formula. APR is approximately two times N. Oh, by the way, N is three times 12, which is 36 times the rate which is 12 percent so 12 percent over n is same 36 remember you don't have to do it one more time well don't need this parenthesis here okay plus one by default so all i do i just plug this in, in the into the calculator okay so let's take a look here so i can press this n over d two times 36 times 12 percent and go down 36 plus 1 enter and of course you're going to have some fraction we don't need a fraction we want a decimal so you clearly see it gives you like 0.23 well we're going to go actually three decimal places here or well, you know what you multiply by 100 right or multiply by 100 and we can now say 23.4 percent remember we must round it up okay 23.4 percent so approximately 23.4 percent remember we must multiply with decimal we convert to percentage so we move the decimal and multiply by 100 okay so again what i mean it was like that 0. Two, three, three, five. So then you move the decimal one, two to the right, which is twenty-three point. Of course, you round to the tenth because they make you. They already say tenth place. So that's twenty-three point four percent. That's how you actually work it out on this problem. Okay. Now let's take a look at another one. So we are checking out this one here. What is given so they give you the interest rate they give you the interest rate and they give you the number of years that is nice enough well what do we do with this one this is to confuse you actually again i want to make sure that we don't get confused here even this one was here right okay so yeah this one is just to confuse you you don't even pay attention with that one okay because formula we need number of m and t and r actually to deal with this problem okay to find the APR all right so APR APR annual percentage rate approximately 2 n r over n plus 1 so I'll then substitute it 
So 2 times n in this case, well of course I'm going to substitute everything here, so better I open a parenthesis, plus 1. Okay, so n, what is my n? 4 years. So my 4 years, 4 times 12. So my n is 48. So that's 48. And r is 14%. I just put down 14% because we have a calculator handy. Or if you don't have a calculator, you can convert into decimal moving to the left. And that should give you the same 48 here also, plus 1. Okay, so now we are ready to use our calculator actually. There you go. So if we do use our calculator, I can do the same thing n over d, 2 times 48 times 14% going down 48 plus 1 enter again it gives you the fraction of course obviously you don't need fraction and we multiply by 100 multiply by 100 and 27.4 percent this one is 27.4 percent 27.4 percent is the AFR. A P R. So that's how we work it out this kind of problem. And I hope you understand. Thank you.